began image working about 20 years before I picked up a camera. And that sounds very strange. But I worked as a designer, as a um, typographer, page layout uh, specialist in the early 90s. And through that, I came into image manipulation. I got into Photoshop. I started to do image editing for magazines and newspapers. But they were never my images. Um, I just had a fascination with light and shape. And I always have, really, as I've seen the world around me. I've looked at patterns and, and timing and lights and things which I now understand are called composition. But for me, were just a fascination with um, image and shape. The shocking truth is that only three years ago I got my first real camera, um, and I've gone a very, I've gone at very high speed since then. I began really by taking the camera with me, and the, documenting the life around me, going to a lot of events, particularly events in the worlds of politics and the world of technology. And over time, that work became more than just a hobby, it started becoming um, an arrangement, you know, Paul will you come and document the event, then Paul will you come as the photographer for this event, and through slow and subtle changes in language and package to, you know, Paul you are the event photographer and we need you for um, corporate work, for private work, for party work, and for me that's been the most fascinating series of, of, of progressions, of transitions over, you know, three years. Well, there are two real ways that I do that. There's always the challenge of finding a new interpretation, finding a new way of setting even the most mundane events. I, I, I sometimes like to say I make art with suits. I suppose the second way that I try and find that is um, through the training and the discussion I have with other photographers, particularly ones coming entirely new to either a digital camera or to digital photography. And though I will confess that I you know, have no, not many years of experience, I, I know what I know and I've got some, I hopefully, good, clear, straightforward ideas about how I interpret composition and image and the use of a camera. And conveying that to someone else and seeing how they take it, work with it and bring their own images to life it's an incredibly good way of, of keeping a freshness to your own work. It's an image of Westminster Cathedral, the Catholic Cathedral on Victoria Street. And it's unusual because it's taken from inside the offices of uh, a big tech company that's right across the street from the cathedral. And there's just one place in that office where you get a massive reflection from a wall and a massive reflection from a, a, a polished floor, giving this perfect quad, I don't know, quadrilateral um, four images of the cathedral with one, the original and three reflections. So it shows that cathedral in a way that hardly anybody will ever get to see. So sharing that, capturing that, and bringing some geometry and some precision to the composition. Um, makes it very special for me. So one other image that has great resonance for me, it's taken with an iPhone. My son was sitting on a bridge over a, a river and to be able to just use the tool that was in my hand, which was my phone, to look at the composition, look at the, the lines, the angle, that for my mind made it such a memorable piece to capture and it just proved the point that I didn't need thousands of pounds worth of equipment to do so.